Joe Biden. He had eight years, eight years to do something. With Obama, he had eight years. And to think about it, there's a lot of names for Joe Biden. Creepy Joe Biden. Kids love touching my hair leg, sniffing girls, touching little girls really weird. He's a weird dude. And are we going to look at uh, what Tara Reid um, said? You know, because you guys, the, the Democrats said, oh, you got to believe what these girls are saying, these women are saying. You got to believe. But no, not, not, not Tara Reid. Mm -mm. Just forget what she said, that she was sexually assaulted by Joe Biden. And the bigot that Joe Biden is, there's so many stuff that we could say about Joe Biden and what kind of person Joe Biden is. A president? I don't think so. He wasn't even a good vice president. Let's be straight on that. And let's be straight that his friend Obama is a freaking idiot for what he said in a church of making political statements and making race baiting his speech that he had to say in a, at a man's funeral. If that, if, if I'm just the, the one person that thinks that is just really wrong, then I don't know. I'm, I think it's just like, wow, you're actually going to do that at a church? Good job, Obama. You made a complete moron, moron of yourself. You made yourself look like the total idiot you are, just like Joe Biden, just like this Harris. I don't care if she's a historic candidate. Get that out of here. Get, get that. Uh, uh. If there's one thing I know, you gotta go buy what this man, Donald Trump, has done for this nation. And the, the people that just want to not like him, hate him, just despise him for no apparent reason. That's a idiocracy right there. You don't like him because he doesn't do the things your way. He does it for the American people and for America. You're going to have to just deal with it. You can do all your tricks, and you don't say nothing, Joe Biden. You don't say nothing, Harris. You just want to put blame on Donald Trump for everything? He's trying to stop those riots in Portland. 73 days of riots. People destroying these cities. People getting killed. You, you, if you guys were the president and the, and the vice president, We'd be in worse shape. We would be in a big lockdown. Let's get that straight. We would be in the biggest lockdown you ever seen. You can't go to church. You can't go to the store. You gotta get all your food delivered. Just stay indoors. Stay indoors. That's what you'd be doing. You guys, Mr. Joe Biden, Mr. I mean, I'm sorry, Mrs. Harris. I'm so sorry that I called you Mr. Harris, but anyways, no disrespect. No, not at all. You guys all know what the, you're doing. I don't think I... I don't think you're fooling anybody. And I don't think your Democrat media is going to fool anybody else. Because if you haven't seen, people don't believe. People don't trust the media anymore. If you want a real honest truth about what's going on. Rush Limbaugh, Mark Levin, the great one, Mark Levin, Newsbusters, and there's far more other great sites and great radio people. Sean Hannity, Laura, I can't say her name, the Laura guy, the Laura lady from Chris Tucker. Not Chris Tucker, I mean, uh, Tucker Carlson. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, not Chris Tucker. That's ridiculous. Just think. 
Just use your brain. Make the decision that you know is right. Make the decision that honestly is good for you and the American people and not just because you don't like somebody. It's not a way to vote. It's never a way to vote. So let's do this thing. Let's do this for America and making America great again. Yo, James Austin Show. Well, hold on. James Austin Show. There we go. That's much better. American Patriots for life.